Endurance Sweat here with my comprehensive guide to Swift Frame Colors. You may want to change the color of your frame to coordinate with the rest of your kit, just like the pros. Most frames on Swift only come in one color, and then there are a few for which there are two or three discrete color choices, and several frames in which you can use a virtual spray can to select from a range of colors. But be aware, even for those frames in which you can choose from two or three colors, or from a full range of colors, sometimes those color choices only apply to the frame accents and not to the entire frame itself. All the Swift frame choices are shown on the next several slides. Among the Swift frames, only three are available in a range of color choices. All the Cannondale frames are available only in one color. The two BMC frames are both available in three discrete colors. The Giant TCR is available in a range of colors. The Pinarello and Trek frames are only available in one color. And among the Cervelo frames, only the Cervelo P5 is available in two discrete colors. There are seven Canyon frames, but only two are available in a range of colors. The Scott Foil is available in two discrete colors. There are more specialized frames available than any other brand. Three of them are available in two discrete colors. But in two instances, those discrete color choices only apply to frame accents. Here we are in the Swift garage. Let's go over to the frame shop. First, let's look at the factor frame. You can see it's only available in gray. Let's have a look at the two BMC frames. If I click on BMC SLR1, you can see at the bottom of the screen there are three color choices, black, red, and white. And if you click on the color squares, you can see the change in the color of the frame on the left-hand side. White, black, and red. Similarly, for the time machine, you can choose yellow, black, or red. Let's have a look at some of the Swift frames. You have a range of color choices for the Swift Carbon. Just click on the spray can. As I move the slider, you'll see the accent colors on the frame change. Here's a look from a different angle but look carefully. It's not the whole frame that's changing, just the accent colors. We'll skip over the Tron bike for the time being. We'll come back to that later. No color choice for the gravel bike, but you do have color choices for the Swift mountain bike. In fact, you have a whole range of color choices and the color choices apply to the whole frame. Watch as I move the slider up and down. There's blue, green, yellow, and orange. And move it back down, you can see the colors changing dynamically. Now let's look at the two giant frames. You can't change the frame color of the Propel, but you have a whole range of frame color choices for the TCR. Again, we'll click on the spray can. And by moving the slider up and down, you can see the frame color changes. And now let's look at the Canon Aero Road a very popular frame on Swift, for good reason. As I move the slider, you can see the accent colors on the frame changes. From red to blue, green, yellow, and orange. But again, the color change only applies to the, ac to the accent colors. Most of the frame remains gray. Now the Swift Concept or Tron Bike is a special case when you move the slider up and down, it doesn't change the color of the frame, but it does change the color of the wheels. But did you know you can have two-tone color wheels? There are three spots on the slider that will give you two-tone color wheels. One position is at the top. The next position is about mid-green. And the third position is about mid-blue. You really can't see it as you're moving the slider, but you'll see it when you start riding. Let's go for a demonstration. The first position is at the top. It looks to be just orange, but let's see what happens when we start riding the bike. 
Now we can see we actually have two tone tires. A mustard and orange. Now we'll put the slider about halfway down in the green portion. And let's have a look at what color tires we have now. As you can see, we have neon green and yellow. Really sharp. Now we're going to move the slider about halfway down in the blue area. And I hope you can see that we have two-tone blue tires. Okay, now let's put together a fully color coordinated kit, just like the pros. We'll start by going to my garage and we'll change the jersey first. In this case, we already have a rider color coordinated in light blue. But now we'll go to a black and red. Here we've picked the black and red jersey. And now let's change the frame color. Click on frame and we're using a giant TCR and we'll move the slider so we have a red frame. Oh, those socks are the wrong color. Let's change the color of the socks. And we'll give our avatar some red socks. And we might as well change the color of the gloves too. We'll go from black to red. And the headgear doesn't match anymore, so we'll pick a new helmet. There's a black and red one. Let's go to the jersey view and see how we, our rider looks now. Well, he looks pretty sharp in that black and red color coordinated kit. Perhaps you've found this video to be helpful, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. With YouTube's search algorithms, it really helps others find this video. Until next time, train hard and have fun.